Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the enemy pawns in the Battle Corridors in Kingdom Hearts 3. You'll need these files and I'll put them in the description below so you don't have to extract the whole game just to get them. The first thing you want to do is find out which Battle Corridor you want to modify. To do that, you go to openkh.dev, click on Kingdom Hearts 3, on worlds, scroll down to this section XC. I'm going to be, I am going to be using the Twilight Town Battle Portal as an example. As you can see, the Battle Portal value for Twilight Town is XC23. But here's the file path. So let's go back to the fi these files that you should have downloaded by now. Click on XE23, and this is the UMAC file. This isn't what we're going to mess with. What we're going to mess with is this file. In particular, the XE23 NB101 UXP file. Go ahead and drag that into a hex editor. Any kind of hex editor will do. It doesn't have to be the one I'm using. As long as you can copy paste or just simply edit the, the pawn values, it should be okay. But what you want to do is find the pawn values on here, like this one right here. These are the pawns that will spawn in the battle portal, so if I change that to something else, it, the game will reflect that change. Now to replace the enemy pawn. Go back into open cage. Click on the key to part street and pawns. Then scroll down to the enemy section. These are the enemies that we all that, that Open Cage has so far. The enemy I want to add. How about Demon Tide? Just go ahead and add Demon Tide. To do that, just simply cut copy paste the uh, pawn value into this. Now if I want to add another one, let's go ahead and search for another pawn he wants on the, on the battle portal. How about... How about Zigbar? Yeah, let's try Zigbar. I think I'll add one more pawn. No, I'll, I'll replace one more pawn. Well, let's use a limit cut. Fine. How about Zemnis? Because why not? So after that, you simply save the file. And after that, what you would do is drag this folder into patch packs. I 
Or should we rename this folder? There we go. Now we go ahead and drag this into Patch Packs, which I'll link in the description below. Drag it into Unreal Pack without compression. Okay, not that. You just drag this into the mods folder in KH3. Do that to that, you just simply load the game and go to that bio portal and see what happens. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open Kingdom Hearts 3 so I can show you guys that this works. Hey guys, I'm in Kingdom Hearts 3 now. Let's go ahead and test the mod. As you can see, Demon Tide is the only one that spawned, but that doesn't mean it didn't work all the way. It just means they're going to they're going to spawn in the next way. For example, let's go ahead and kill Demon Tide right now. You need to wait for it to go into the second phase to completely kill it. There we go. Demon Tide's dead. As you can see, Zemnis and Zigmar spawn. As you can see, some of the pawns don't like... They don't die. Like the Zigmar pawn here. Only some of them do that, not all of them. There are some battle portals that you can't do this in. No, I believe it's uh, the ones in San Francisco and the ones in Keyblade Graveyard. The, the rest of the battle portals you can change just fine, I believe. That's just from my experience. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.